things will never be the same. Because the hierarchy of power in the DC universe is about to change. The hierarchy of power in the DC universe is about to change. The hierarchy of power in the DC universe is about to change. Terramana toes, Terramana, Terramana drink, King out your Terramana bottle, Terramana. The Terramana has to do in your Terramana toes. Terramana would create a Terramana, raising that Terramana toes, the Terramana watermelon model. Terramana, you Terramana, you guys saw. Terramana, drink Terramana. <laughs> Terramana. As the president, everybody gets free Tramana. <laughs> I'd like to give the world a Tramana. Oh, and maybe they smoke a little tra tra marijuana. That's a little, that's alliteration. <laughs> tra marijuana. <laughs> yeah, tra Tramana. Tramana. <laughs> Tramana. <laughs> Tramana. 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 <laughs> Dramana! I gotta tell you guys, uh, I caught a case. I got a big case of the fuckets. And I, it's Wednesday, I got a case of the fuckets. Yes, it's the Wednesday night fuckets. Dramana! <laughs> I'm having Dramana and a stack of pancakes. That's a big part of the fuckets. Two large pizzas and a stack of <laughs> blondies. Big, big part of my buckets tonight. Oh my god. Don't forget the Tramana. <laughs> part of the buckets. <laughs> the Tramana and whole milk. <laughs> Tramana. Tramana. This is a. It's all every time I turn on Instagram. It's Tramana. <laughs> I I Kevin Hart and I are in Taipei marketing Tramana. <laughs> Romana. I, I can't fucking take it. Oh, Jesus. Romana. So he doesn't even know what it's called. His own tequila. It's called Tramana. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What do you mean? It's Terramana. It's not Tramana. <laughs> it, See, is, I, it is with this rock. Yeah. Tr Start it. Get that audio going. Who is the best wrestler turned actor i was gonna ask like i feel same. like this will be in, the answer to this will be influenced by what we're literally talking about today but just off the top of your head before we go through the catalog of just like Dwayne. oh first name basis that my boy Dwayne. You, know, you ever say someone's name as the whole name you know like michael b jordan and then you say them like their first His name, name. Michael. You're that's like, weird. Yeah, it's weird. Like when you say it, like just like Dwayne. Like that's I can't imagine calling him Dwayne. He's Dwayne the Rock. Sylvester Johnson. Stallone's first name is Sylvester. Sylvester. <laughs> yeah, don't ever say that. Just that. <laughs> but you can say like Arnold. You know who we're talking about. Yeah. You know that's not where like Arnold Schwarzenegger is. Like that's that's you, honestly a good marker of like true fame level. If your first name basis, you know what I mean? Like Arnold. You know who you're talking about. Yeah, if you kind of own that, like Hitler did. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> With a name like that, you're born to be a star. Let me tell you what, it's just... Oh, I'm a star! Please, I'm a star! I'm sorry. This is off, this is off the rough <laughs> start. Alrighty. Okay, so you want so, to... So, yeah. We need to figure out a name for this thing we're doing. I've got a couple here. Okay. And we're run through. We don't have to decide right now, but I just, you know, I think people should hear the process a little bit. I like it. And we got career review. Mm -hmm. Like we're kind of, that's the working title right now. Uh, trash or smash, love them or hate them. This is a serious look at the filmography of an actor or actress where we determine if over their career, they have made more good movies than bad ones. The system by which we decide this is arbitrary and completely subjective, but it is definitive. It is a definitive ruling and cannot be changed. I'm so serious. You fucked it up in there. The last pan, one. Pan or, oh yes, you can. That was just one. That was the whole, that was one idea. Uh, pan or, oh yes, you can. Do we like this guy or not? Over under, trash can, uh, blockbuster or bust, bins and wins. Win percentage, farts or hearts? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just sit on it, pray on it a we little bit. We don't love any of those, not we'll right just... now. We're just not, we're not committing to any of those. That's okay. We I got, like we got all of those. Pick. That's, the, that's got... the problem. All of those are perfection. <laughs> <laughs> we got time. We can we figure got time. It out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Definitely one of those. We'll be good.
All right, so what, so what are we, what is, what's, so we've covered the names, we've already hinted at who we're talking about, what are we doing? So this little series, to be named, is going to be a look, we're going to look at every movie, in quick, we're not going to do a full breakdown of every one, but we're going to go through and kind of look at every movie that a particular actor has done, in this case, our boy Dwayne, aka The Rock Johnson, <laughs> and see if overall the movies they have done are... Thumbs up or thumbs down. We're gonna say on average, like, are, do they make more good movies than bad movies? So are, are you saying we're judging their success based on whether or not they changed the hierarchy of power in the movie that they were in? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> in a manner of speech. Okay. Sure. <laughs> That's, yeah. Because boy, do I think we picked the right guy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. So we're gonna go, we're gonna start at the back, their first movie, and then work all the way up to the present. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so. Dang, 2001 was his first movie. Yeah, not kind of, there's a couple little TV appearances in here where he's just himself in something, a bunch of WrestleMania stuff, obviously, and then we get to his first feature film role. It still says as The Rock in here on IMDb. I remember, I he's I not, remember, though. <laughs> I remember that, though. Like, for a while, he was credited as The Rock, and then he changed it to, like, I think Dwayne Johnson... Mm -hmm. And then it was like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I'm not sure what it I is know, now. I think it's Dwayne Johnson again. Is it? I don't think he has. It's not The Rock anymore, I don't think. Interesting. Oh. Is it? That's, <laughs> I'm blown away. Okay, so The Mummy Returns. I, I have a real special place in my heart for all the Mummy movies. Yeah. Maybe the third one. Yeah. This, I like this one a lot. It's not like, it's a fun, just stupid early 2000s action movie. The CGI leaves a little bit to be desired. But I, I mean, I like to. <laughs> Why would you get The Rock to do this just for him to be CGI at the end? That is crazy. Why? He, I mean, he's in it for like, I, I guess, don't know, not even a minute. I guess, I guess less a person. I guess less crazy back then because he wasn't The Rock movie star. Yeah, yeah. That's know, what his first hierarchy, hierarchy power yeah. changing guy. You know, like back then he was a This will really get butts in seats to see <laughs> Dwayne Johnson's CGI torso on top of a scorpion. This is what they're here to see, people. Okay, so I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying thumbs up on that one. Yeah, I like him in it, like yeah. for the little bit he's actually in it. Like, I, lo I love it. Yeah, it's a fun movie. Okay, there we go. All right, next is Long Shot. As Mugger. I've never seen it. I have, I have never no seen this movie. So we'll just skip right on past that. All right, next we have The Scorpion King. Kind of similar vein. Mm, I don't like it as much. I'm gonna say no, it's actually kind of a terrible movie. I am also gonna say no. But it's not his one. fault. It's not this his is not necessarily it's... like, are they okay in this? Or like, are they good? It's more like, is the movie- I agree. Pass well, I think it's kind of what I would, we were- Because I think if we're going on like, are they good, are they not good? Like most of the time, if they're famous actors, they're gonna be pretty good in anything they're in. You know, it might be a little better or worse, but like it's yeah. not gonna be their fault of the movie's. Great. Yeah, I I agree. Like we're talking like, is the movie good? Is the movie is the movie thumbs up? Is the movie thumbs down? Uh, I would else yeah, it's resounding thumbs down for that one. All right, All right. here we go. Here we go. Here Ooh. we go. The this run, is the one. Oh, the rundown. Yes. For, first of all, yes. Like th big thumbs up. Like huge. I love this movie. Oh. This is like, this is still when, The Rock was like. He was a vincible human being. He wasn't just, you know, he didn't have anything in his contract about how many times he gets knocked down. Right. You know, that whole thing. Is that true? Do we ever, like, is that a real thing? Like, I have not heard of that. So there was, like, especially when, uh, and we'll get to Fast and Furious here in a little bit, but, like, him and Vin Diesel, like, were going back and forth. I feel like apparently a lot of action stars have this where, like, you can only be knocked down or, like, only certain things can be done to your character in a movie because they don't want to appear too weak or something, oh, and that was wow. a big thing between Vin Diesel and The Rock in those movies is there was like, every time they would, one person get hit, got hit, the other person had to land the same amount of hits and do as much damage. Neither one of them could like be perceived to be better or worse than the other one. They had to land the exact same amount of punches. Interesting. I just like imagine them arguing and bickering. It's just like watching like a big thumb war. Yeah, <laughs> just two human-sized thumbs. It's just, just the watching back two wieners going at it. <laughs> but no, the rundown. I this movie is phenomenal. Sean William Scott is amazing. I so I wish funny. he was he's in more so, things. I know. He's so good. 
You didn't like balls out? <laughs> Gary the tennis coach. That's that <laughs> yeah, one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I remember watching that on Crackle. Oh, it, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah the rundown. I, gosh, I love that movie. That it, It's so dated. It's so of its time. But it's so, so, so good. Oh, I'll watch anything with Christopher Walken in it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> As the sweaty, like, <laughs> landlord, like, real estate guy or whatever he is in this. Rosario Dawson. Like, everybody, everybody in this movie is awesome. Like, so the big good. monkey fight scene. Hilarious. It's yes. all just... Walking Tall. It's the same movie. Is it? Okay, because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm mixing these two up. It's one's in the jungle and one's in, like, one's not. You know, I actually don't think I've seen this movie. I have, but it's been a very long time. If you like the rundown, you like this one. It's then I'll give it a thumbs up. All right, cool. I'll give it a thumbs up. Oh, shit, I have not been writing these down. Edit it out. Oh, I'm, not, it I'm not gonna do that. Please, I'm, I'm begging you. I'm, it's not I'm gonna so happen. self-conscious about my typing. <laughs> You're typing pretty slow there, man. Oh no! <laughs> All right, what do we got next? What do we got? Yeah, what? yeah. Pay a little visit to Mavis Beacon. <laughs> That's her name, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wasn't that the acronym for uh, Order of Operations in Math? Is that what you're <laughs> Okay, next on the list, Be Cool. I have not seen this. I one. don't know what this movie is. I'm. This is the first time I'm seeing it right now. Let's, let's just skip, skip on. It. Let's just skip on by it. Doom. Be Cool. Put the name on that one. Dune. Okay. I said Dune. I think Doom. <laughs> I I like a good young The Rock. Yeah. In a crazy, over the top, just I mean, what a what a movie! I I really don't know what to say about like that hasn't been done to death. Yeah, on this already, but it's so bad. It's is a it terrible movie? <laughs> but hey, th I think this one is like the first time like you really like he goes like for bad guy. You don't. This is a rare. The Rock is the bad guy. That's true. Movie. There's one more that I can think of in here that we'll get past. But I think this is like. One of the most obvious ones. It's fun to see him be the bad guy. He's always like the the stoic kind of, you know, hero, whatever yeah. guy. But yeah. I don't know. I could go either way with this one. I'm going to go thumbs down, I think. Oh, we tie on this one. Oh, oh no, wait, no. Up. No, I said down. You said down? Oh, okay, I can't stand down too. <laughs> All right. This is, this is falling apart already. <laughs> We're seven movies in. All right, Southland Tales. Southland Tales is... Oh, Sean William Scott is in this one too. Yeah, he is. That's crazy. They've been in two movies together. Within like two years of yeah. each other. There might be more in here. We don't know. We will I see. I have not seen this movie. I'm looking up here. Just quick distraction. He was in an episode of Hannah Montana, the TV series. Did you know that? Sean William Scott? The Rock. <laughs> and Reno 911. <laughs> Un he's uncredited, but he is a SWAT guy. In <laughs> uh, Southland Tales. I've heard about it. Yeah. I've heard that people like it. But I just, for some reason, that's like one of the big ones. I've just, just never got around to it. Is this... Well, is this mostly just going to be like this whole series? Just have we yeah, seen this see or that. not? Get around to it. Yeah, I'll watch that at some point. All right, moving on. Uh, grit, <laughs> just right in the bin with you. Gridiron Gang. I have also not seen. Also, this movie. no, this one's good. I like this one. It's a fun football movie. Like, okay. he's a cool coach. I think if I'm remember, if I'm thinking of the right thing. I'm fairly like this. I like, like I like this movie. Like prison related. Like it was like mm -hmm. okay. Maybe mm -hmm. actually I've seen this one. In prison football team. Yeah. It's good. I like it. He's a, he makes a good coach. I'll give it a, I'll give it a thumbs up. I, tr I trust you. I, trust I have you. to go back and watch that one. I think. Uh, we said and hang on. Ba, 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 ba. Sweet. The game plan. I love this movie. I love it's so, this movie. It's so cute. Oh. It's so cute, man. Like just, it's just a fun little heartwarming. I bet, like I haven't watched it in forever. Same. But I remember, I was like, this is just like a fun story. Like, this is really sweet. Like, this puts you in a good mood. It's, yeah, it's just fun. The Rock is great in it. The little girl is great in it. Kira Sedgwick is great in it. Like, everybody. <laughs> As <great>. she always <laughs> is. <laughs> Queen. <laughs> but everything is great in this movie. It's just, like, it's just solid. It's just such a good movie. I do, I don't know if I remember it correctly, but I remember it was kind of alarming how flippant and how much he didn't care that she was having an asthma attack at the end of the movie. He thought she was faking it. Do you remember that? It's like she was, she ate like, that. no, he was allergic <laughs> to cinnamon. She ate something with like nuts in it. And she like, was, didn't have like an EpiPen or whatever. Yeah, and she like, was like, just starting to like choke and he was just like, man, she's faking it. Like, she, <laughs> she's always doing that. Come Come on, here, this football, just, run, run it off, kid, or whatever he said. Yeah, that was, I, I bet you there's a lot more of those moments that if we went back to, they're like, that, that's odd. People yeah. are behaving weirdly in this. But I think for what it is, like a Disney Channel kids movie, it's sweet, it's fun, I like it, big thumbs up. Yeah, from memory, big thumbs up. 
Get Smart oh. is up next. This is one of my favorite early 2000s comedies. I completely agree. I, I don't know why I like it so much. I just like, I like everybody in it. This is the other one I was thinking, Rare, The Rock, Bad Guy, turn right there at the end. Yeah. yeah. Bill Murray's a tree. He is a tree. <laughs> this movie. This movie really is, I, I would even dare to say, it's, it's damn near perfect. I mean, it just does exactly what a remake like this should do. During a time where there were so many other remakes, speaking of the next film we're about to mention, there's just so many remakes and just redos and like, I, this one just nails it. Mm -hmm. It's hilarious. The cast is phenomenal. It's just a fun, like such a fun way to like pick apart, like, like the Bond movies or whatever yeah. were like really popular around then. Like, I, I think it's just a great, like satirical kind of take on those kind of movies. Like it's not taking itself too seriously. It's like yeah. just clearly like. There's no way you could do this and be cool. Yeah. Kind of thing. I love it. I think it's, it's great. It's awesome. I remember my, uh, I watched this with my family. My mom, I mean, would just like fall out laughing at that scene where he's in the bathroom and he's trying to listen to that guy talk on the phone and he's peeing at the urinal and he would like, yeah. stop <laughs> and he would listen and the guy would like look over and he would start peeing again and he would just go like, he kept like switch it. Mom just thought that was the funniest <laughs> thing she ever did see. <laughs> I mean, I like that. I like that part better than the parts that I like more. Yeah, so I mean, the biggest, the biggest thumbs yeah. up possible. Yeah, yeah. Race to Witch Mountain. I it was a, that was like one of the first memes. Remember I was about to say for the, the meme alone, back at the <laughs> for the meme alone, I almost feel like we gotta give it a thumbs up. But for the movie, horrible. I, just, I hated this movie. It's so bad. I don't like it at all. Fun. It's the exact opposite of game plan. Like it's like yeah. a kids movie, like whatever. He's supposed to be like the big dad figure guy. Like I don't know. I just don't like it. I don't remember particularly why. I just same. I, it was just, I didn't, I did not like it. Yeah, big thumbs down. Moving on. All right, right out. Right in the bin with you. Planet 51. I just, right away, I have not seen this movie. <laughs> You're just not even going to play around with it. I have not seen this movie. Uh, Planet 51. Oh! I, I do remember this one. It's kind of like a meh okay. animated movie from back then. I didn't love it. Like, okay. I don't think anybody else did. I think it was fine. I, did you like um, Monsters? Is that what it was called? The, uh, where that lady gets like real tall and there's like the little blue slime guy and the cockroach scientist. Oh! That movie. It's kind of, yeah. it's kind of like, if you like. I like that movie. It's kind of like that, like a little bit around that kind of like, not great, but like right. there's some fun moments in it that you remember. Like, it's kind of, I would say like, eh. I remember this movie and like Mars Needs Moms came out right around <laughs> the same time. They just came out and went. That's and nobody remembered nobody, it. Yeah. Nobody remembered it enough to hate it or love it or it just existed. I wonder if anyone else in the world right now is talking about Planet 51. It I, might be the only people. That might, this is our, this this is our, our niche, moment. dude. Did we just convert this whole channel into oh, playing at 51 breakdowns and takes and... All right, whatever. <laughs> All right, moving on. Okay, do the two thumbs down. Uh, Tooth Fairy. Two, we were both down on that one? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Tooth Fairy. Not Tooth Fairy 2, the one with Larry, Larry the Cable, the cable guy. guy. Yeah. Tooth Fairy 1. I have seen this. I have too. Hot off, hot off the trail. Hot off... What, how do you say that? Hot off the... Hot off the, the coattails. Hot, yeah. What? Hot off the tails. Hot off, hot off the coattails? No. Hot it's not off that. the. Yeah, hot off the tails. Hot, hot off, off the tails, right. Okay. Hot off the tails of Game Plan came Tooth Fairy. And I feel like all the young fans from Game Plan went over to the. At least that's what I did. And even as a kid, I did not like this movie. Really? I liked that. I thought it was about, like, it wasn't as good as Game Plan, but I still liked it. Like, it was still fun. Like, we can tie on this one. That's fine. Oh, yeah, let's tie on it. Let's tie on it. Okay. Mid. The other guys. I mean, we we could make a whole video just going Honestly, on about that movie. It's one of my, like, I would say, like, it's always top five or top ten comedies for me. Some of that, I just love it. It's so good. So good. So, yeah, I mean, the biggest of thumbs up. Aim for the for bushes. Aim for the bushes, baby. <laughs> Faster. I remember seeing this one. Oh, yeah. It, it was. It was. That was, like, I didn't like it. That was a hot commodity on a red box. It was. I remember this was the first time I saw him and he just looked twice the size he was previously. The, like compared to, compare this to like game plan, which was, or, you know, the other guys, which was a year, the same year. It was the same like year. The, same the other guys came out the same he year. He looked like a, a normal human big guy. Yeah. And then faster, he's just all swollen up. This is this is that term. That's yeah. I think if I remember correctly, this is where he starts to become. I think this is the first action movie he's in where he's like 
that unstoppable killing machine right. thing doesn't get knocked over a whole bunch. Like if I'm remembering this one right. I think you're right. Like this is where it turns. To, this right. is the the era of the rock we are all existing in currently. I, so I I think this movie, without a doubt, changed the hierarchy of action <laughs> movies. Would you, would you concur? 2010. I'm trying to think who was Jason Statham was big. Jason Statham was big. He's doing the Transporter series. Oh. I'm trying to think who else was like I think he was the big guy. He was the big guy. I think this around as, uh, what do I think? I'm so hungover. I think, um, yeah, because John Cena was just kind of starting out. Yeah, he had the Marine. The Marine, the Marine. that's what it was. Like, he was just starting to get some roles in some minor action movies and yeah. stuff. Like, so he, I think, yeah, I think The Rock was the big guy. Uh, yeah. Then he was the only one, really. I agree. So, so it's a dog shit movie? I agree. Down, <laughs> down, thumbs down. Fast Five. I, crazy enough, I've not seen a single Fast and Furious movie. What? And I don't really plan on changing that. It's not, it's not that I'm against... going to make you do it for this channel. <laughs> I, I have nothing against them. I just... I'm not a car guy. I don't care about stuff like that. I don't like Vin Diesel. Except if it's the Pacifier. <laughs> That's what I was going to bring up. The Tooth Fairy. <laughs> I like the Pacifier more than Tooth Fairy. The Pacifier I feel like that was great. the same thing. The Pacifier is great. In my memory... It's great. Oh, wasn't it funny that he's big and muscular and has to take care of these kids? Oh, what if he's dressed as a woman? <laughs> They're like, what, why didn't that Robin Williams movie work? Because he was a lady the whole time. He needs to be a big dude. <laughs> we'll do Vin Diesel at some point on this. Okay, so. I, this, I like this. The Fast Five is maybe my favorite. I know, like, the okay. car guys and, like, the, oh, the old school, you know, Tokyo Drift is the, no, 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 shut up. Those movies are bad. They're all bad. But I like this one the most. I like Fast Five the most. From what I've always gathered, it seems like this is was a turning point for the series. Is when it really changed. Yeah, this was like this is the rare like the longer the series goes, it gets starts to get because it was like just downhill the whole way until five hard upturn. Right. And now it's starting to go back down again. And I thought ten would save it because it goes in fives. I guess is the rule. But cars in space didn't really didn't do the numbers we were hoping it would. Okay, so I'll say a thumbs up, even though I haven't Absolutely. seen it. I, I recognize that this one is a good one. Journey to The Mysterious Island. I was always so confused about this movie because I didn't know what it was a sequel to. You know, it's like, cause mm -hmm. like it's not obvious that it's a sequel to Journey to the Center of the Earth, which I'm mm -hmm. assuming it is. I still don't know for sure. Would you assume that? I think. Because like there's no other movie named Journey. Yeah, I'm, gu I'm guessing because it's like Journey to the Center of the Earth. Journey to to the mysterious island, right? But it's journey number two colon the mysterious island. Yeah, no, it's it's so confusing. <laughs> journey two, um, big thumbs down for me. If you're if you're getting Brendan Fraser out, you're replacing Brendan Fraser. I'm on I'm automatically not on your team. Out, hit the brakes, yeah, toots. Get out of here. All right, Snitch. I remember seeing this movie, and it is from my memory the exact same as Faster. Like, I just, I could, yeah, it's just a knockoff. Could be lumping them together, but yeah, I also big thumbs down for me on that one. Yeah, out, hit the bricks. All right, moving on. G.I. Joe Retaliation. I have not seen this one. I saw the first G.I. Joe movie. I don't like the second one as much. I like the first one. I don't like the little, like, electronic version of Seven Nation Army they did, so just for that alone, I'll give it a <laughs> thumbs down. All right. <laughs> That's all it took. All right. Uh, Empire State? Um, bad. It's a bad movie. I think I've seen that one as well, and I'm also going to say bad. It's a bad, bad movie. So we're about to get one, get to one here that I enjoy very much. Oh, I hope we're talking about the same one. I think we are. Are you, are you talking about Pain and Game? I am talking about Pain and I, Game. <laughs> let me you, you know something? I have seen this movie maybe four times. Maybe yeah? five. Really? I love this movie. This movie to me, it would be my guilty pleasure. I don't like. I don't like the idea of guilty pleasures. Like enjoy what you enjoy, but like mm. it by definition, this is my guilty pleasure movie. If I just like, you know, have a night in, I'm by myself, I'm hanging out, I don't know what to watch, I'm putting on Pain and Gain. Really? That and I can't believe it. I'm not a Michael Bay super fan. Mm -hmm. I'm not a The Rock super fan. I'm not a Mark Wahlberg super. I like all of them. Mm -hmm. But, I, like, there's nothing about this movie that should draw me to it so much. But I just love this movie. It's, a good movie. it's great. It's hilarious. It's, fun. it's, fun. it's, it's hilarious. Weirdly fun. It's weirdly funny. It's so good. Is this when we start to see The Rock be funny a little bit? Yeah. Because he's, like, he gets funnier. Like, as yeah. time goes on, he's leaning into that silly 
the big silly guy more. That's true. This is kind of where we start to see that turn a little bit. I it think. could be. He's fantastic in this movie. I like him too. He's so good. I think I'm giving yeah, big thumbs up for me on that one. Huge, huge thumbs up. Fast Six uh, is still getting a thumbs up for me, but barely. I will give it a thumbs I, up. I like, I like Fast Five a little bit more. Yeah. I think it starts like five, six, and like it starts going downhill gotcha, a little bit gotcha. again, but not too quick. Okay. They're all about the same. Like six and seven are still almost as good, but a little bit worse every time. So this one still barely gets a thumbs up. Gotcha. Hercules. This movie is weird. I have not I seen it. I don't like seeing The Rock with long hair. That is crazy. He has yeah. long, blonde, beautiful hair in this, and it's unsettling. <laughs> he picks up that horse. That is, I've he seen throws, that. Scene. He throws a horse. I have seen that. <laughs> I'm giving it a yes for You horse. know what? I'm going to give I'm it a thumbs a yes up. For I'm going to give it a throwing. thumbs up just for the horse throw. <laughs> I like, uh, speaking of Hercules, I like, uh, I like the guy, I can't remember his name, at the end of the new Thor movie, Love and Thunder. And right at the end, the end credit scene, they introduce Hercules. I have not seen Thor, Love and Thunder. Don't. Okay. It's bad. <laughs> it's real bad. It's a waste. It's a waste of 20 bucks. Um, but I like that actor they have coming in to play comic book Hercules. The costume looks really good. Like, okay. So he's got his little club thing he always has. In the, I, I, I'm excited to see if they actually bring him in or not. Nice. But yeah, that's all right. Yeah. This Hercules is for, for the meme. I'll it's give it a thumbs yeah. up. For horses. It's no Kevin Sorbo, but it'll, you know, it'll do. <laughs> Disappointed! Oh, speaking of which, did you know, uh, scrolling back, scrolling back, uh, Walking Tall, I think, there is a sequel to that movie, and it stars Kevin Sorbo. What? Yeah. It's like <laughs> no, a, it's, I didn't know that. It's like a uh, direct, it's like a direct DVD sequel mm. to Walking Tall huh. with Kevin Sorbo. I didn't know that. Yeah. Cool. That is I all. Learned, that is all. Cool. That's all we had to say about that one. <laughs> We're not doing Kevin Sorbo. On Besides this. Planet 51, we are a Kevin Sorbo <laughs> stand channel. Oh, that's what we're doing now? <laughs> that's okay. what we're doing now. <laughs> As we find our identity in this show, we, it's just going to get more the ball than the nonsense. Okay, Furious 7. I'm going to say no. You're going to say no? I'm going to say no on this one. Like, this is when it gets like, it turned a corner and I stopped. I watched this one and I don't think I watched any of the other ones. All right. Unless they were like on TV or something. That's fair. Moving on. All right. San Andreas. I have not seen this movie. It's, I am not a big fan in general of like disaster movies. Same. But as far as disaster movies go, this one isn't, no, it kind of is terrible. He's a, he's a little helicopter pilot, like a big muscly helicopter pilot on this one. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember. Hey, I, I'm thinking no. I was going to. I don't remember a thing about it. Like I watched it. I just, it just all, it's just buildings crashing and water and earthquakes. And it's just, there's just nothing like watch, watch 2012. That's a good one. It's the same thing. That's a good movie. I like, I like that one a lot better. Like, if you're going disaster movie 2012, San Andreas, pfft, hit the bricks. Geostorm dog. Okay, uh, Central Intelligence. The first movie with him and Kevin Hart. Spawning an era. An unstoppable duo. <laughs> I don't know what you would do if you could spend 24 hours in, in Kevin Hart's body. Mm, How would you question, spend your man. day? Kill myself is wait, what I do. Wait a sec. Time. So what you're saying is this movie <sighs> changed the hierarchy <laughs> of buddy comedies forever. Not to put words in your mouth. That is what I'm saying. <laughs> um, this movie is bad. I, yeah, that, I agree. The chubby high school rock. And this <laughs> is one of the most unsettling things ever committed to film. It just, that that's the most uncanny valley, upsetting the aging thing. Like that's, it's the worst. I hate, I can't stand looking at it. It's bad. His weird little like floppy dance he does. They made him. Why did they make him so jiggly? I think they extra jiggled up that actor that they put the Rock's face on. Whoever that is, he's the guy who sang uh, "Somewhere Under the Rainbow." Israel Kamakamehola. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. They actually had to CGI that little like oxygen too. <laughs> he's really getting down though. Dude. <laughs> no, I, that movie is just bad. Yeah, the immediate thumbs down. He's like, he's this where he full commits to being funny in this. And it doesn't work. I agree. He's got to be a little bit funny. He's got like he's got to be the straight man. And like when he breaks character a little bit, it's when he like breaks from that seriousness. That's why it's funny. Yeah. That or like he doesn't. He can't be in on the joke. Right. I don't think. And he's so in on the joke in this. Like you already have Kevin Hart. Let him. 
let him be the wild man. Let him be the funny one. Yeah. And then let just play off the rock. But they're both kind of like silly and like, I don't know. I don't, I don't love it. I agree. Moving on. People love this movie though. Really? Mm-hmm. Huh. Moana. Love it. Thumbs up. Huge. I mean, all day. Thumbs up. The, the rock sky. singing, like all his, I, I love that whole movie. It's Animation's crazy. awesome. The music's so memorable. Like, I feel bad. I feel really bad for anybody who's the parent of a kid who was the age to watch that <laughs> because they are, they're still watching it right now. They, they haven't stopped watching it since then. And the I mean, hype for this movie is only going to pick up as they're uh, working on the live action one. They are. I'm, I'm, I'm going to see that. That is a live action Disney movie I'll go see. All day. All right. The Fate of the Furious. Is this eight or nine? This is eight. Fast Furious mm-hmm. eight. Oh, yeah. Fate eight. Fate. The eight. <laughs> the eight of the Furious. Bad. Bad. Moving bad. On. Don't. Bad. Don't do it. Moving on. Baywatch. Horrible. I hated this movie. Really? I really did not like this movie. I don't remember it being anything. That's true. But I would go a step further and say, not only is it nothing, it's just really bad. Zac Efron was ripped in this movie, though. Yeah, that was that's yeah, worth everybody. The, that's everybody worth the ticket is. for admission just for that. <laughs> but I'm still resounding thumbs down for this one. You gonna pause for Baywatch, huh? Yeah, that's I'm dying on this. Film. No, it's fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll throw it a no. So I'm so distracted. I'm like trying to type these things out and like put the no or yes by each one and like no, I'm trying not leaving any behind. So it's all right. Here we go. We're getting into the the modern era. Chumanji, welcome to the jungle. I really don't like these movies. I have not seen the first one. You only saw the second one. I yeah, I went with what? my family. They they liked the first one. They wanted to go to see the second one. And you one. couldn't be fucked to, <laughs> to watch the first one to catch up on the after, highly cerebral plot. <laughs> after seeing the second one, I'm glad I didn't waste the time on the first one. Personally, the first one is better. I believe. I believe by that. a good bit. I love Jack Black. I love. I like. I like everybody in it. Just something. It just kind of. I didn't love The Rock doing an Aquafina impression the entire time. Yeah, that seriously, so that's horrible. Oh my gosh. I, and God bless him for trying. He, but did it, he did the best you could. I know, like, I, yeah, like, even Jack Black doing an impression, uh, like, them all doing impressions of each other is just bizarre. Dwayne, we hear so much about your workout plan, and I'm curious if you could just walk me through a little bit about what it takes to be Dwayne Johnson. Oh, I'm glad you asked that question. First of all, you're uh, Kathleen from Screen Junkies, right? <laughs> I never forget a face, I never forget a thing. My mind's like a steel trap. Uh, you know, I wake up at uh, 5 a.m. and uh, do 27,000 rip curls, uh, bleed, blood, sweat, tears. <laughs> That's the approach that I take to life. That's how I approach everything. Life is a delicious drink that you have to suck deep. Uh, there's no time like the present to enjoy your loved ones, your family, your things, that, the other thing. And then projects, I got to go. <laughs> wow, that's good. And I don't, it just didn't work. Like it just, yeah. for some reason, like they just, they should have either committed way more or way less Yeah. to the, Thing, but like Kevin Hart doing Danny Glover's voice the whole time is distracting. Yes, oh my gosh. It's so distracting. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Like, that's, it's, such, it's, that's such a bold <laughs> choice to do that. To have these these stars just imitate people the whole time. That's so risky. And it, I, don't, yeah. I don't think it paid off. No, it didn't. I mean, it did. That was like one of the highest grossing movies. It's like yeah. such a popular franchise. I okay, mean, so first Jumanji. I'm gonna, I haven't even seen it, but I'll give it a thumbs down. I don't like it. But I understand that everyone else does. Okay. So I might give I might just give it a thumbs up just because yeah. it was so popular. I'll give it a thumbs so... up because I I'll just I'll I'll remain out of this. So you thumbs upping it, we'll move it along because like right. I, I don't want to be I don't want to be negative, man. I, I'm not happy about this either. I don't but be we're, it's fine. <laughs> okay. 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 Um I wanna see a movie where it's Davis okay or whatever his name is. Okoye or whatever, whatever his character's name is, uh-huh. is training gorillas to fight Chris Pratt training Velociraptor. I want to oh. see the clash of burly exotic animal trainers, like Pokemon style. Like, like go get him, Blue! And the big, big white gorilla comes and smack. Like, I, I want to see that. I think it'd be a fun movie. I love that. <laughs> I love that. As for this movie, I have not seen it. So I can't say. 
Watch movies. I just, Watch some dumb action movies every now and then, you bum. Have you seen it? Mm hmm What'd you think of it? It's fine. Okay. It's fine. I mean, it's, it is what, it's a big, it's not really the video game at all. Like the old, do you ever, you ever yeah. play the old arcade? I know of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. I like, I like the old arcade. It's funny. You just break a bunch of windows and scare ladies. It's pretty fun, but <laughs> yeah, like I like, like it, this just isn't that like at all, but like, I don't know yeah. how you could possibly make a game out of that. I remember right around, I think it was this movie or Jumanji. It was right when I started just following uh, the rock on Instagram. So I started <laughs> to see him like documenting all the movies he was making. And like this one like looked fun. It looked good. Like I, I it didn't look bad. It looked like a fun premise. It looked like it was a good time. Jeffrey Dean Morgan's in it. I love Jeffrey Dean Morgan in anything he's in. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm fine with the thumbs up on this one. Really? We're giving Rampage a thumbs up? Why not? All right, fuck Why it, not? whatever. Let's get a little goofy. This very serious, very definitive thing that we're doing. Let's be kind right before we're vicious because right, Skyscraper. It's, it's getting worse. <laughs> Skyscraper <laughs> one is the next die movie. Hard. This movie did not change the hierarchy of power it for die-hard rip-off movies. It it's didn't, the biggest it didn't piece at all. of dog shit. No. no. I mean, all right, so on the one hand, I love that they're trying to do, you know, paraplegic or uh, not paraplegic, but like, you know, just anybody with any kind of disability, like physical disability. Right. Like giving them a little shout out, like a little representation in the movies. Yeah. But get a guy who, there's got to be somebody. There's somebody out there who Oscar has. Oscar Pistorius. To the, name one. The, the Blade Runner <laughs> who shot his girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Oscar Pistorius in here. I'll, I will wait for you to name another person. Yeah, I just got, I got nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I will let it slide. Yeah, I can't, I can't make him, like, so I like, on the one hand, I'll give him the credit for the representation of right. disabled people, but it's not good representation. It's not good. And that sucks. I wanted to like this movie, but no. I do. It's really not that bad, but I just can't. All right, thumbs down. Moving on. <laughs> Fighting with my family. This is a documentary, I feel like, but I don't. Firm stance. I do not watch documentaries. I do not. <laughs> For nerds, right, let's skip on. I haven't seen is it that, anyway. Is that a documentary? I think it is. I think it's like a kind of like half documentary, half not. Maybe I don't. I honestly don't know. I don't. I don't. Well, either way, I don't know. It's uh, let's just yeah, skip yeah. right on. Uh, nope. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Nope. We are not. Fast and Furious presents <laughs> Hobbs and Shaw. I actually wanted to see that because I love Jason Statham and I love Idris Elba. Or is oh, he, that's that, right. He's, he's the villain he's in that. The, he's the weird oh. superhero like mech suit guy. I haven't seen it though. Have you seen There's it? There's some really cool scenes in that. Like, they make him do some crazy stuff, but it's yeah. just, like, I like it better than, like, Fast 8 a little bit, but it's still, like, it's a spinoff of a dying franchise with, I don't know, I, 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 uh, I'm going to give it a begrudging up. I like that. It's a stupid action I, movie, and you get to see crazy stuff, like. Just from the trailers, it looks fun, and that's, I feel like, all this movie needs to be, so I. It's fun, you know, yeah, it's fun enough. There we go. Thumbs up. Gets a thumbs that just squeaking by. All right, uh, we could just skip past Jumanji, the next level, because we've already kind of discussed that one. I'm assuming that's a thumb no. down for both of us, yeah. And the next jungle movie from The Rock <laughs> is Jungle Cruise. Man, they love having him in a tan shirt Man. in the jungle, dude. Tell you what. Hey, when anyone else fills out a tan shirt like that, you know, they'll, they'll find somebody else. Jungle Cruise, what do you think of Jungle Cruise? Never saw it. I have not looks, seen it. looked interesting, but. I like him, uh, I just, Emily Blunt. Yeah, I do. I like her and stuff. Pretty she's, good. She's in movies. Do you know that? She is. So we haven't seen it, so we'll just move on. Get the okay. He's credited here for Free Guy. He plays bank robber number two, the voice. Everybody down on the ground. Hi. What'd you say? What? I feel like that's what? not a movie credit we can give to him. Let's... I don't even know for sure. Like... I didn't know he was in that movie. What do you mean he's just the voice of the... It says he's just the voice of some of Bank Robber Number 2 and Free Guy. That's bizarre. Which is a great movie, by the way. I like it. I it's a fun movie. movie. It was so fun. It was one of the first movies I saw in the theaters after um, the, the pandemic. Like, after oh, the lockdown. What? Was there something that kept you out of the movie theaters? It took our rights, bro. That's what happened. <laughs> no, 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 we're not doing this. Not on my channel. <laughs> but yeah, Free Guy was one of the first movies I saw, like, post, like like locked down and this this was such a fun theater experience it was it was great but i, I do feel not, like we can't throw him in i we can't this we gotta skip over that, that one we gotta skip over that one but we'll skip right over it to another ryan reynolds rock movie <laughs> red notice 
I've not are seen we, this movie. I noticed we've skipped over two Fortnite things. Are we giving him? We're not giving him credit for being in Fortnite. Ooh, <laughs> that could be like the deciding thing. If it's like a, if we're split, we go back we'll and go look, back and like check out Fortnite. his video games. <laughs> that won't upset people at all. That that's the deciding factor. <laughs> Red Notice. I have not seen it. I watched part of it mm -hmm. with the family. Didn't see the whole thing. Yeah. It's whatever. Okay. Ryan Reynolds is Ryan Reynolds. The Rock is The Rock. Everybody's just them. I will leave it to you then. Themselves. You can say no. Okay. I'm gonna say no. I don't like it. That's fair. Well, I'm sad to say Red no Red Note Red Notice two and three are coming down the pipeline. So of course they are. So you got that to look forward to. I can't wait. DC League of Super Pets. Didn't see it. I did not see it either. Moving on. All right. That's all there is to it. The commercials look bad. I'll say that. Black Adam. Oh boy. <sighs> We need to do like a whole DC thing at some point. Oh, we will. Oh, we will. Movies. Especially now that it's all coming to an end here. <sighs> this is the best example of what I was talking about a minute ago, where The Rock has turned into just this unstoppable yeah. killing machine. Like, does not get knocked down, barely gets hurt, like is at most inconvenienced. Right. But nothing in this movie presents him with a challenge. That's true. He's... I mean, this is the like the embodiment of that idea. He's just literally standing straight up, a few feet off the ground at all times, just floating through buildings, not looking at the peons below him, just causing general. He's a force of nature. Yeah, he really is now in these movies, and this more so than any of the other ones. My big thing with this, did you have fun? Mm -hmm. I did too. I had a lot of fun with this, and I'll say this: like, it might not be on par, or like. I mean, for right now, like this little kind of generation of Marvel movies and DC movies come right. out, I think this is the best one that's I, come out in the last like year or two. I it's agree. It's better than all the Marvel stuff, I think. It's better than, it's the only DC movie that comes out, yeah. but I mean, I, I, I kind of like it. It's fun. It's fun. I agree. It looks great. It looks the great. The CGI is fucking awesome. I mean, the music's whatever. But. The music, I liked the music. The ensemble cast was great from Dr. Fate to oh, um, Aldous Hodge as Hawkman. And the, I liked the new characters, the young... This was a fun movie. It got, got way Name too much Name one hate. of the new characters. Cyclone. Oh, wait, wow. I thought for sure you weren't getting that one. And <laughs> uh, the Atom Smasher. I'm trying to think of that guy's name. He was just in a new show on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Recruit, I think. Um, I'll think of it before we end this episode. I'll think of it. Um, but, like, I liked all of them. I liked all of them. I loved how brutal he was. I just, it was just fun. I just had a good time with this movie. I'll give it, you know. It did not hierarchy, change the hierarchy in the, in the DC universe. No. Sadly. Maybe. Almost. Well, no. I mean, he, he tried. He they really tried. He, he took a big swing. Played, I, played chess behind the scenes. I think it's his fault that we're not going to get Henry Cavill. I also And agree. anything else. Because he, he just he forced him into that movie. Tainted the waters. I think it's his yeah, fault. I, I agree. I'm going to give it a yes, but barely. Because I'm mad about that. I'm going to give it a yes, but mad face. Whatever face that is. <laughs> All right. Is that it? That is it. Oh, we're not going to talk about Young Rock? <laughs> <laughs> the TV series? I'm not going to talk about his many, many XFL commercials. All right, let's tally this up. Oh, boy. Um, we might have to edit this part up. No. Okay. okay. So we have 37 total movies. Okay. And we have one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen total yeses. Thumbs up. Okay. So what's thirty-seven minus sixteen? Uh what would that be if you just had to guess? Like I just had to guess just off are you just off the top of my head? Yeah. Off the top of my head. Uh off the top of my head, twenty one. Yeah, no, yeah. you're right. Yeah. Okay. So it's just off the top of my head. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I wouldn't pull it up a card. What's that over there on your computer? What app is that? Do you have it? <laughs> um, so that's 16 thumbs up and 21 thumbs down. Oh, and we, I gave him what? There's one mid in there. There's one like sideways thumb. Dang. So the and rock so, The rock is a thumbs down as yeah. a whole career. Just And again, just so we're, everybody's clear on the rules of this thing. Right. That's just the movies in in his career, not his performance right him as an actor it's yeah that's part of it but it's mostly just was that a good movie or not right in our very professional unwavering opinion yeah 
And yeah, I think, I mean, now that like, I'm thinking about it, like, yeah, I think that's, I think that's accurate. He's, he's on a lot of crap movies. He really is. He really is. And then, like, think about okay, the question we posed at the beginning. Who's the, be- who's the best wrestler turned actor? Think about somebody like Dave Bautista. I, I was going to say, I think it's Dave Bautista. My, Dave Bautista, like, we should do him next. Keep it the wrestler theme. Because we, we, we both adore wrestling so yeah, much. Yeah, it's, it's my fucking favorite. <laughs> but with Dave Bautista, like... <laughs> Undertaker? <laughs> off, off the top of my head, I can't think of a single bad movie that Dave Bautista's been in. Off the top of my head. He was... Oh, he was in that chauffeur movie, I think. Stuber. Oh, with, with uh, Camille, Camille Nagiani. Nagiani. I can't say that's bad, but I'm just like, that's a movie that comes to mind that might not be a winner. Yeah, that would be the only one I'm not sure about. But everything else, he's phenomenal. He's pretty good. He's really good. Knock at the Cabin Door. Knock mm. at the Cabin that was yeah. it was really good. I love that movie. Blade Runner. Yeah, that's right. Awesome. He's awesome in that. We're getting ahead of ourselves. We are a little bit. I know. We're already doing another. We're not doing even done with this. Way. Man, we're just chomping at the bit. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. Okay. okay so. <laughs> okay. That's official. Big old thumbs down for, yeah, for on, on average. Thumbs down for Dwayne. The Rock is more likely to make a bad movie than a good movie. Statistically, is what we've discovered here. And I'm comfortable saying that. Come at me with numbers like Dwayne. that. You can't even scratch your own back, dude. I'm wild. I'm scrappy, dude. I'll get it. I'm so much faster than you, dude. Can't even get me. With numbers like that, <laughs> you're not changing dog shit. the hierarchy of power. No, you're not. <laughs> it's about drive. It's, it's about, about power. power. But sometimes it's about making a good movie. And yeah. he, needs to, he forgot about he that. forgot that about that. <laughs> that's the third rule, and he forgot about it. Yeah. Oh, that's right. unfortunate. But yeah. All right. Yeah. So that's how we do it. That's, that's how this is going to work forever. It's never, it's never going to change. Dave Batista okay. next. We're, yep. com- we're coming for you. Yeah. <laughs> bring, bring me all your muscly, oiled up dudes. I will, <laughs> I will write their career. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still the people's champion. Enjoy your Terramana. Boom, boom, boom.